Welcome back to another video, everyone. You will all be very happy to know that we have discovered a way to walk Juniper and the goats together at the same time. We haven't been able to do this since Juniper came home because she is a herding breed, so she's just psycho around the goats. But we've discovered that she loves her ball. And if we have a ball, if she has a ball in her mouth, she will leave the goats alone and we can now take them all out together. So we uh, actually had a tree on from our property fall onto the neighboring property. We'll kind of show you what's going on down there, but we're going to go pick it up so that we can start milling it because now that the barn is about 99% done, we're going to start a new project. <laughs> and I know that many, many people are wondering What's going on with the siding? When are we gonna do the siding? And I'm gonna tell you that it's very, very soon, but in order to do the siding, we need to build our deck and our uh, front entry covered area. And that is because we need to be able to tie in the uh, roofing and the deck material so that everything is watertight before we can uh, put the siding on. So we're gonna start milling for the deck and we're gonna get a lot of that lumber from this tree of ours that fell. Hey, hey, hey. Maybe. So we're gonna be getting a lot of the lumber from a, this tree of ours that fell on the neighboring property. So we're gonna try to get the dogs, the goats, the quad and the tractor and the chainsaws down there and it's gonna be an adventure, I think. So as you can see, we have this huge bank that is cut basically at our property line and uh, this tree did not like that. So it is a massive Douglas fir that came down in the fall maybe? I can't quite remember, but one of the windstorms that we had fairly recently, um, yeah, the whole root base just was broke free tree came down it's gonna be an interesting log to cut for Greg because wherever he cuts it the tree is gonna fall more so he needs to be very careful and make sure he's not within reach of the root base or any of these roots that are sticking up and uh, the tree's gonna fall a little bit I'll be wrangling the animals while he's doing that to make sure everyone stays away but luckily there's a fair bit of green down here that the goats are interested in hey man I think right here, but me, me over here, I gotta... No battling while the cut's happening. Hey.
How was that? It's as sketchy as I figured it would be. <laughs> it's good wood though. That might fall more when we, I guess it won't go very far. No. Like a foot more. <laughs> So our plan is to just go down the tree and cut the lengths that we uh, want to transport. Uh, we're doing that because it's pretty dry here. It's a little risky to be using a chainsaw, so we're just going to get that over with. We've got a container of water and a shovel, all those kind of things that you can put a fire out with. Hopefully we don't have to, but we're just going to be very careful and just do all the cutting at once and make sure everything is good to go. and then start moving the logs up towards the mill. foot by 16, 17. All right, that's one log. I think we have three more to go. We'll see how many runs we can get at a old man Hinto. We can take this off now. I don't know what this Put your hand in my hand, darling. Say go. Keep your eyes on the horizon. Stay go. All I need are your eyes. You're my arrow. Now we're running into the wild.
Got a bunch of logs here now, and before we can start milling them, we actually need to get our mill re-leveled out, uh, just cleaned up, fixed up, ready to go, because lately we've been finding our uh, lumber is not perfectly squared or to the measurement that we want it to be. So whenever we're using this mill and dropping a log on it, it just gets knocked a little bit out of square. So it's time to get it all fixed up. So our plan is to put some concrete in the ground with some posts coming out and we'll have it raised up off the ground a little bit and the concrete posts will be down below the frost line so they won't be getting uh, moved around in the winter when it's freezing and thawing out and it'll just be a little bit more secure. This is just a rough guide. And then five plus an eight, something like that. This one? Yep. That's it? Oh, your uh, blade is engaged. on rabbit now choke it out again you go I'll put it back to rabbit and choke it out
What do you think? Milling day. All right, that is the last of the small logs. We've got a good pile of beams now, so we are looking pretty good for this project. It's been a long time since we had an empty space here. Well, we're gonna lift this mill. Um, like Katie said earlier in the video, every time we put a log on it, it sinks and every time it's we're working with this thing when it's rainy out and it gets all soggy underneath it. This thing is way out of calibration. So I have to find a way to lift the mill and I have this. Ready for some sketchy stuff, Katie? All right. Let's do it. I'm gonna get you to bring the, the uh, Okay. I mean, that looks okay. Well, that went pretty smooth actually. Uh, a little bit uh, 
kind of knocked the water jug as I was putting it down, but it was kind of... Yeah, that thing needed to be put back on anyway. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't really anything you could do about it. So now Greg is going to use the back blade and just smooth out, pull all the sawdust out, just get it cleaned up, and then we'll start digging and getting some concrete in. We are going to start digging the holes for the frame and uh, you can explain what we're doing. <laughs> so we're going to build a 20 foot long frame for the, the sawmill to sit on. And so yesterday we got everything moved and cleaned up and leveled, <laughs> leveled as much as we're not, we don't have to level it because our frame can be level and the ground can be whatever it is. So we've got our site prepped ready for, for what we're doing today and now Katie and I are going to do some layout, figure out exactly where the posts are going to go and then we're going to dig through a ton of roots. I already know this is just going to be a, a brutal root bash but it's a good spot for a mill. We've enjoyed it a long time. We're going to make a couple changes here. We're going to flip the mill around so that the sawdust goes this way so that at the end of mill, uh, a day of milling, I can just take the tractor and clean up my sawdust, which is going to save us a lot of trouble for mm -hmm. sure. So mm -hmm. yeah, I'm excited. We're, we've used this mill for years now, uh, out of calibration and having to mess around with it if we needed to do anything serious with it. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is gonna fix all that. So yeah, let's get to it.
Oh, whatever, sweet, you get to. <laughs> 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 Leave it. Leave it. Put, put that in here. <laughs> How much is, is in there now? Half? <laughs> no. You trying not to pour it all out? I don't care. I'm just going back to see what's going on. Oh! Oh no! I was recording. <laughs> I guess we're going to town. <laughs> Okay, so now that we've got the beams on here and they're nice and straight and it's going to be good, they're level as level gets, uh, I'm going to just attach the beams to the posts just with these gussets here. So I'll put, I'll put gusset, plywood gussets on the inside and then I think I'm going to do 2x4 gussets on the outside just to make sure everything's nice and, uh, nice and solid.
you good? Yes. That side's good. I mean... Well, we have the mill up on the new platform. Uh, we realized that these pieces, what are they called again? I can't remember, it's been a long day. No name pieces. Dogs. Um, we always had them on this side and when we would drop the log from the tractor, it would stop the log from rolling off. But now that we've switched the mill around, the hole is actually on the side that we don't want it to be on. So we had the idea to build something Katie did. Uh, on this side so that it will hold the log from, or it will stop the log from rolling off. Um, that'll be a project for later on because we are getting ready for dinner, but at least we have a plan to keep the logs on the mill. Yep. Otherwise, it's looking pretty good. We've got it all secured and uh, looks great. So the last thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna put a board on the law. I'm gonna put a piece of wood that's already been milled on the mill and cut a lamination and see if I can cut a thin lamination, which should, I should, and then it'll be a test to see how perfectly set up this is. Way high now. How did it cut? I might I might build a platform here. We'll see. How did it cut? <sighs> you tell me. Look at that. Pretty damn good, it's hard Katie. To tell with the camera. Trust me, it cut good. Okay. I could try. <laughs> I can't even. Because I've always put my body weight into it. Yeah. <laughs> That's not going to work for me. It's going to have to. <laughs> well, I think we're going to wrap up this video here. We've got our mill. Good. Everything is level. The cut was really good. We're getting pretty tired, so time to uh, relax for the rest of the night. It's going to take a little bit of getting used to with the mill up this high, but it's going to be much better, I think. So. With that, we will catch you in the next video. Hi, little wifey.